Hey, what's going on? This is J Mike Fitness. Today I wanted to give you guys a couple of different ways to measure your vertical leap. With the All-Star Game approaching, with the dunk contest and Jordan turning 50, there's a lot of people searching and looking for ways to improve their vertical leap or find out what their vertical leap actually is. You hear a lot of people throw crazy numbers out about 50 and 60 inch vertical leaps. Today I'm going to show you the equipment that professionals use to measure this. And if you have a 40 or a 50 inch vertical leap, I'm also going to show you how high you're actually jumping. So if you find someone who says they have a 50 inch vertical leap, this will dispel a lot of the myths about that. So come with me, we're about to go in here and um, show you. All right, today the first apparatus we're going to use and talk about is the Just Jump system. This is used by a lot of coaches because you can get a lot of athletes in and out measured and gone about their business and on to their next exercise using a product like this because it measures. As soon as you get on, you jump, it registers, and the next athlete steps up and it allows you to do more at a faster rate. Right, another quick tip about this or detail about this that a lot of people like is that it's digital. So you're reading, you don't have to touch anything. You can just jump in the air and then measure it by the distance and time that you're in the air to come up with your actual vertical leap and it comes out pretty accurate. And I'm gonna show you guys how to find out how accurate the machine is today when I give you an example of another vertical leap testing device. So this is the Just Jump. And another thing about this, it also allows you to do one jump at a time, four jumps at a time, and 60 jumps at a time, and it'll give you the average of the jumps at four reps, 60 reps, or whatever. So that makes this tool um, pretty good to use when you're working with a group of athletes. All right, the next up is another type of vertical leap tester, which is similar to the Vertitec. They make a bunch of different companies make similar devices, but this one in particular is not a Vertitec, which is used at the NFL Combine, but it's very similar. And what they do is they have each one of these prongs or um, sticks represent an inch. So when you set it up, you can have it set up between eight inches, I mean eight feet, nine feet, 10 feet, 12 feet, whatever, depending on the athlete who's actually jumping. Now, in order to find out how high you're actually jumping, there's a couple of measurements that need to take place. All right, now with the, the vertical leap tester at a height that's pretty good, this ranges in, that's between nine feet and 11 feet. So it doesn't have to go all the way up, it can go all the way up to 12 feet if you like, but that's 11 feet at the very top. So when you look at this, to get to the black would be 28 inches for me. All right, so depending on the athlete, if you know that they clearly can touch the rim at 10 feet, you wanna eliminate some of these pegs. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier for the athlete to jump up and try to reach his mark. So with that being said, we know that if the athlete touches the black peg that he's touched the rim. So that'll be the, that's a clear definition of 10 feet. So let me give you an example. All right. Okay, with that last jump, I hit 10 feet, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 10 foot six on the first jump. So that puts that with the vertical leap at around 34 inches. I wasn't really trying or anything like that, but looking at 34 inches. How you guys doing? Now we're going to demonstrate the Just Jump system. I pre technically prefer using the Vertitec style because I have issue with jumping and not being able to touch or reach for something. But some people it doesn't bother and if you don't have a lot of time you can always use this particular device to get a faster reading. So I'm going to give you guys an example on how fast this machine actually works. Come on in. That particular jump was 26 inches. Go. Come on in. This will give you an example of how this worked. So that particular jump was 25. Twenty-five point five. All right, reset it. 
All right, you're a little far away. Come, uh, come here. Keep coming, keep coming. All right, so for this next one, this next test for the vertical leap on the just jump, you can jump four times, and after you jump four times, it'll give you an average of the four jumps that you had. That comes into play if you're working on the athlete's endurance, so it can be a good test of strength. So for the four jump total, I came out to 23.4. So this was, I was, wasn't jumping overly high, but I was just trying to give you guys an understanding of how this machine actually works. Can you focus on it? There's also a 60 time test you can do on here as well. You can have your athlete jump 60 times and they'll give you an average of the 60 times. To be 100% honest with you, it's not very accurate because if you step off a little bit, it'll reset. So I like to stick between the one and the four. And you can do your own math on averages if you wanna do 10 jumps or what have you. All right, this is another test that you can use using both of these devices, but it requires you to own both of them. I believe the Just Jump system is roughly $700, and I believe this one here ranges anywhere between $400 to $800. So if you have both of them, that can get kind of expensive. But this is how you can find out if they're pretty close to accurate. You can set one up right underneath the Vertitech, and it'll catch the digital reading as well as the manual reading. So let's see how close it comes out. Okay. Okay, bring it in. Okay, in this particular instance, this roughly states that the vertical leap is somewhere around 32 inches. The machine showed roughly 30 inches. So you can figure out that it's similar, but not as accurate as the manual. So this is a couple of different ways you can measure your vertical leap. On the next video, I'll actually demonstrate how to properly do the vertical leap to get the best number possible. Once again, this is J Mike at J Mike Fitness. If you have any questions, leave them in the inbox. You can also email me at jmikefitness.com. Thank you.